for Amazon Web Services as a content production and generative AI partner strategy lead. Uh, been coming to HBA now for several years, and you know, the fantastic things that they show here from a story perspective are just amazing. This morning, Ashen. Ashen was just another example of all the awesome ways of applying technology in this space. You know, we always talk about how the, you know, disruption of new technologies and, and how we're going to apply the area. And when we, you know, 2019, I think, was when Jay-Z came up to me and proposed this Lost Leader Hosing project. Cloud was considered disruptive, but nobody really knew what it did. Uh, we also had game engine technology that was coming into the space. What did that mean for virtual production? What does that mean for VFX? And we answered a lot of those questions that year. And since then, we've been doing a lot of different shows where we're bringing together creatives and technology people and different partner technologies. And we're always trying to push the needle, learning how to do innovation, which is fantastic. And those projects have led to a lot of learnings here. And just want to thank Mandy Walker and Jay-Z and Ruby Bell and all the other cinematographers that we've had an opportunity to work with to kind of build this out. But, you know, it's all about disruption and how we're going from disruption to adoption. Because, you know, even in filmmaking, you know, we always talk about this, you know, like new technologies like generative AI. You go, Gosh, what does, that, what does that really mean? What are we going to do? It's, all, it's, all, it's always been here. We've always had disruptive technologies coming in. We don't do traditional filmmaking. There's no such thing as traditional. It's modern filmmaking. You always bring tools and creators and the talent that you have to the table, and then life happens. You have budget cuts, you have schedule changes, you have location changes, or new ideas that come to the table. And that's what makes these projects neat. All the innovation happens with the disruptive technologies that are mature enough to be able to adopt and create a new workflow. I guarantee that you would never have heard of the magazine American Cinematographer if we didn't have disruption. Tell me, you've all opened this up. Have you ever once read about a new movie that's come out and they said, yep, we did it exactly the same as the last time? It doesn't happen. It just doesn't. But all those technologies come in and there's a way of measuring to know the maturity and the curve. We look at the viability. We look at the working use cases against the technology adoption. Of course, there's always early adopters, and that's this audience here. But then we start looking at how they're going to be incorporated into the creator's toolbox as it grows. And that's where you start addressing economics and user experience and management. And this organization, along with the ETC and others, has allowed us to do a lot of disruptive, innovative projects. Some really cool stuff. It all started with Lost Leader Hosen, but it didn't stop that. We did global cinematic shorts. We've done virtual production shows. And some have won, like Fathead from the ETC, shout out to Eric Weaver, um, you know, that one won an NAACP award and was screened at the Cannes Film Festival. Or Black Magic Design. Yes, yes. Or when we partnered with Black Magic Design and we had Native American uh, high school girls who came from homes that didn't even have running water. And they were able to tell a great tale of legend and lore of the Navajo tribe. And that went and won a dozen film awards. So that's also, you know, really fantastic and compelling. But all of this is about feelings. And, you know, that was the one theme that Jay-Z and I agreed about in the morning in all of us, in that disruption. And when you bring creatives and technologists together, we start coming together and having a common language where we work together. So now, generative AI, the whole afternoon is going to be a lot of fun where we get to separate the fear from the reality and how this all kind of comes together. If you've never heard of Terrence McKenna, he's got some great quotes. So with that, I don't, want to, I don't want to stand in front of our great speakers this afternoon. So we've got Nico Puringer from Corridor Digital. Uh, they're part of a, a, a company that is, they refer to themselves as the jet ski of production companies, which I love that, because essentially what they do is they, they like to dive and bob and, and test new projects and figure out exactly how the technology is going to work. And then, of course, we're going to have Tim Simmons from Theoretically Media. He's also been in this industry for a long time, as far as, uh, you know, was with Trailer Park a long time ago. But he knows this VFX space in and out. And he's been testing all of the tool sets for a while now. And he'll be able to give us a good landscape of this. And then, of course, we're going to round out with Caleb and Shelby, who run the AI film school, Curious Refuge. And they've been, they've been teaching how to use innovative tool sets for several years. I mean, they started with Game Engine and Houdini and a bunch of other projects. So. With that, I think my time's up, and I want to hand off to uh, Nico. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to hand off to Jay-Z.